Joseph W. Brady explains an upcoming Victor Valley College Board of Trustees Candidates Forum. Uh, September 17th, Victor Valley Community College Student Activity Center, uh, bottom floor from 6 to 8 o'clock. It's a, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to, to get to know um, you know our current trustee, Laura DeVericus, but also the four other people and also Steve Terrell. We lost Dennis Henderson, who is long a standing uh, trustee in, in the college in late April. And the college very quickly um, did a mailing to every home in Apple Valley and, and in Lucerne Valley, which is just. And from that, we got, I think, 22 applications. So you had to have a letter, uh, a, 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 a resume, and, and the application filled out. And out of, I think, 22, uh, there were five that were not valid. They, 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 they weren't registered, they, they couldn't do it. So then the board at that time, we all graded those. And they came together one night, we had a special board meeting, and I believe that we interviewed 14. There were, there, I think there were 14 that night, Terry. There was one person that was not there that was out, uh, and one of our employees, uh, Frank Castanos, spoke for that person, his name's Steve, Steve Terrell. Um, and, and we then picked from that group a young lady uh, who's a mother, uh, uh, a wife, and she runs a, a school out in Apple Valley. And her name is Laura DeVericus. I, I think that everybody that was in the room when she was finally picked said, you know what, you're the right person for, for the job. So, um, so I am strongly endorsing her. I'm doing what I can. Uh, Steve Terrell, uh, I, I've known for a long time. Uh, he's running against her. Um, I, I, I don't know why, but everybody runs for a particular reason. If there was something wrong, or she was not the right trustee, we would have known. But she's the right trustee. She gets along with everybody, so I think everybody likes her. Then over in Sharon's district, so Sharon resigned, I believe, and see, we in September, I think in, in July. And I think why she did was I think that her and John, they've got a great family. They are very family-oriented. But they've got family now scattered across the country that I think that they decided that, you know, they want to spend their time with their family. And I really admire them for it. It was it was a shock. I, I kept saying they to Sharon for a couple of months, hey, you know, let me know when you're gonna run, you know, we'll we'll help you raise some money and do this. And and she didn't say anything and, and that's but that's Sharon. And I think that when they made the announcement it would it kinda caught us all off guard. So there are four gentlemen running for that district. Um, I know one through through the industry and, and, and his involvement here. Uh, I got a call from another gentleman we couldn't seem to get our our schedules together. I, he, he, I, I wanted to give him some, some uh, input, but he was too busy, and I think he was retired. And, and, and if, if you're retired and you, you can't find time, then I don't think we're going to do well. And then there's two, two other people, so I really don't know. I don't know. I just know one of their names. So I know that on uh, September 17th at 6 o'clock p.m. at Victor Valley Community College, to so me, we could put this out earlier, um, is going to be kind of a, it's not a debate. The, the ASB, uh, Haley, our, our, our new incoming uh, president, uh, who took over from Jennifer and then Robert Sewell, uh, we meet down the Student Activity Center on the bottom floor. There's a stage that's all, all, already there, and all the candidates will get questions from the ASB and from those members of the uh, public that are there. I really would encourage people to be there. I think it's really important. Um, I know one thing, at the end of the day, as a, I think the second longest trustee at the college. I'm looking for people that, that one, put students first, put students second, put students third, and remember that it's an agenda that the trustees have to all agree on. We don't have any room for showboating. We don't have room for people bringing their own agenda. I had to, Terry, I had to learn a lot of things early on, and I didn't have anybody on the board that helped me, except for Joe Range, helped me understand. My job's not to tell anybody the color of the bathrooms. The way that it works, our most important job at the college is to hire the president superintendent. The president superintendent works for the board, okay? The employees work for the president superintendent. So it's a no-no. I committed a no-no the other day. I reached out to one of the employees, didn't even think about it. And then I reached out to Dr. Walden and said, Everything that we do goes through Dr. Walton's office. He's the man who's in control. He's got 831 employees. He's running a well over $100 million budget on 262 acres. So I'm looking for those people 
that want to be a part of a team and not bring an agenda. And in, in my personal view, this is not a stepping stone to something else because we'll be able to flush it out pretty quickly. And I plan on being around. I plan on running again. So uh, I, I, I just hope, I, I really encourage people. August, um, uh, September 17th, Victor Valley Community College Student Activity Center. Uh, bottom floor from six to eight o'clock. It's a it's a it's a great opportunity to, to get to know um, you know our current trustee Lord Americus, but also the four other people and also Steve Terrell. So it's it's one of those things we really want the students and the public to see. And then I think they air. I think they put out a video. And and I I will uh, clearly when, when we're done probably on about the nineteenth or twentieth I'll do a video about what I what I think and, and our endorsements. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. Check back on this website for Joseph W. Brady's upcoming report on the impressive number of records being set at Victor Valley College, which has become the fastest growing community college in California. And thank you for watching this report.